yesterday was 20, uh, 2008. When I started is visiting a research center over in, uh, in Newfoundland and I brought some samples back. And when I analyzed for the antioxidants, because that's my, my expertise, it was so high in antioxidant of anything that I've seen. <laughs> I was so surprised. Well, the antioxidant was interesting, but when we look at the disease model and then found out that the anti-inflammatory properties, wow, that is really exciting for us. <laughs> and we have animal models of diseases. And most recently in our data, you know, when we feed the, uh, the, uh, the group of mice with um, this high-fat diet supplemented with 5% lingonberry, and that actually uh, improved all the kidney functions and the, the uh, liver functions. All the disease biomarkers are improved and uh, the uh, blood uh, glucose and fat levels are significantly better. Providing lingonberry in their daily diet may be the, uh, uh, just a, another management option for physicians for chronic kidney disease. And the lingonberry actually his, historically has been consumed by uh, Eastern and Northern Europe and also by the indigenous people here in Canada. So, and we know that it's growing wild in Manitoba, in, in Northern areas of Canada, not just Manitoba. And that's where Oscar comes in. He is doing research in you know, having test plots here, looking into all the different characteristics of how to cultivate lingonberries. So uh, my name is Oscar Molina. I'm a research scientist here at the Morden Research and Development Center in Manitoba. Well, uh, I, I, the project is an opportunity, not just for the crop, but for the people who know the, the crop. And this project is just an opportunity for us to share some knowledge about how we can grow those Lincoln berries on a larger scale. It's, it's a small crop, uh, but it has its own characteristics. So it's not something that anyone can take and grow in their backyards. No, it's a crop that needs some, some care. There is a number of people working on this project, different colleagues working from plant breeding to the agronomy, which is the part that we do here, and also working on this nutritional value. Well, lingonberry is an interesting crop, so the wild berries. There are also some commercial varieties that are being grown in a more commercial environment, not necessarily here in Manitoba, but in, in other provinces, also in some states in the United States. Uh, they grow these varieties, these European varieties, because they, they, they had higher yield. But the difference, or the main difference with the wild materials here is that the ones that we had here in Manitoba are known because of the higher content of the uh, antioxidants. So what we wanted to do also with the project is to find cultivars and hybrids that can adapt to our conditions here in Manitoba. Our biggest challenge has been to find the soil that lingonberries love. Like for instance, they don't like uh, soils with pH that are too high. So in between 5.5, 6, and that's something that we don't really have here in Morden. So what we have been doing is that we have created uh, an environment for the plants to grow. So we don't really plant the, the lingonberries in soil. We are using a mix in between uh, peat moss and perlite, and the plants are doing great. So for me, what is, is, is good about this project and the projects that I do in my program is to know that what we are actually doing is going to contribute to the change and it's going to matter to someone. So the lingonberries in particular is either going to you know increase the value and eventually you know towards the processing after the harvest but at the same time it's also going to contribute with its nutritional value to the, the, their food change. So that's what is important to me. A lot of chefs around Canada love lingonberry lingonberry. It's very hard. It's not like, you know, blueberry, but lingonberry maintains its structure. It's solid. The chefs really love the, the flavor. Well, one day I would 
like to see lingonberry in, on, in the grocery store. We like to create a made in Canada and made in, in a Manitoba product.